Before approaching the patient, you have to ensure that the scene is safe. There's no trip, slips, or falls risk. So ensure as well that you close the door or draw the curtains in to provide privacy and dignity. For approaching the patient, you have to do your hand hygiene. Shell your hands. And do the hand hygiene using the WHO. Seven steps of hand hygiene. Off the ball, back of the hands. Fingers interlaced. Fingers interlock. Rotational movement of the thumb. Fingertips, fingertips, and your wrist. And then make sure that it uh, dry your hand for 30 seconds. Now you can safely approach your patient. Hello, Jennifer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Paula. I'm your nurse for this afternoon. Hello, Paula. I'm here, Jennifer, uh, to check your blood sugar level for 2 o'clock uh, as ordered by your doctor, if that's okay with you. Of course, that's okay with me. But before anything else, I need to confirm your date of birth and your name as I found your second with your ID band. Yes, my full name is Jennifer Gordon. My birthday is 22-08-1969. And your MRN number is 1234567X. Can I also ask if you got any allergies? No, I don't have any allergies. Right, that's good to know, Jennifer. Um, as I've said a while back, I'm here to check your blood sugar level for 2 o'clock as ordered by your doctor. And I think you've had that done before as well? Uh, yes. Right, I just have to ensure that the side of the prick would be rotating and prevent any uh, skin damage. I'm gonna be back because I need to prepare my equipment. I'm just gonna give you this call bell and if you've got any concerns while I'm away, you could press that and then somebody will be uh, in touch with you. Is that okay? That's okay. Right, thank you. I'm gonna prepare my equipment for the blood sugar check. I need to do my hand hygiene as per the WHO 7 steps of hand hygiene. Wait for my hands to be dry. Ms. Examiner, can I quickly check if my tray is re reusable or disposable? Disposable. I'm done my apron. Can I also check, Ms. Examiner, if my blood sugar monitor is, has been ca calibrated for the last 24 hours? It's been calibrated. So, I'm going to get my disposable tray. I can see it's clean and dry. My blood glucose monitor is, has been calibrated in the last 24 hours. I'm going to get my single-use lancet. I'm going to get my Clinel wipe. In date and packaging is intact. I'm gonna get my sterile gauze. Packaging is intact and in date as well. I'm gonna get my sharps box. And I'm gonna get my glucometer strip. I could see that it's, it's an airtight container and it expires in 2022. Got my equipment ready and now I can go back to my patient. Hello, Jennifer. I'm back. I'm just gonna put this equipment there. So I'm gonna do the blood sugar checks now for two o'clock if that's okay with you. Are you happy for me to proceed? Yes, you can. Great. Can just... I ask before I start, which uh, side did you have it done? Did you have it in your right or left hand? On my left hand. Right, so we'll do it in your right hand now and I'll ensure that I don't use the thumb and index finger and make sure I do the prick on the side of the uh, fingertips. Is that okay? That's okay. Well, I could see that your hand is visibly clean, but otherwise, if it's dirty, I will use a Clinel wipe to clean that. Get one glucose strip and put it in the glucometer and wait for it to be ready. Get my single-use lancet. You will feel a bit of sharp scratch when I do this. Are you happy for me to proceed? You can. Right. Sharp scratch. 
Great. And put this in the shots box. Now we're going to get the blood. So your blood sugar level is 5.5 millimole per liter. It's within normal range because normally we would have 4 to 8 millimole per liter. I'm just going to put the gauze on the side of that finger just to prevent it from further bleeding. Are you okay, Jennifer? I'm okay, thank you. Right. I'm going to ensure that I record that in your um, record. Right. I'm going to give you this call bell. And then you can just press that if you've got any questions, okay? Okay. Right. I'm going to dispose of my equipment in the clinical waste bin. Do my hand hygiene. Following the seven steps of fine hygiene by WHO. Right, Jennifer, I'm just here, just I'm just gonna document your blood sugar for today, okay? Okay. So write the date today, fourteen hundred, and your blood sugar is five point five millimole signature. And name. Right. So I've properly documented that, Jennifer. Your blood sugar for 2 o'clock is 5.5 millimole. Now I'm going to close my station by washing my hands in the sink or just using hand gel following the seven steps of hand hygiene by WHO. Thank you.